Hello, everyone, yeah, that's all and welcome to my home. Yay. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. I'm Nils, and um, and we're in for a real treat today. I was just uh, reminiscing about um, my contradance calling career and how fortunate I've been to work with amazing musicians, including these two wonderful humans, Rachel Bell and Becky Tracy. I think Becky and I have known each other for 20 years or more, and um, Rachel and I for uh, around 15. And um, yeah, I'm just honored to have them here and uh, really excited to hear what they're going to play for us. So we know a few of you, and some of you we don't know at all. So welcome, welcome. and nice to see you. Yeah. Um, this has been a joy for us. We've been doing lawn concerts over the course of the summer and seeing real people playing for, for 3D people has been great. Maybe 4D because they can say things and clap and <laughs> stuff like that. It's death been their toes. Death their toes. It's just been wonderful. Um, so uh, Rachel and I... Uh, I have just, a, about a month ago, we went into the studio, which is um, my garage, and um, we, uh, we recorded um, a set of music that is for French dancing, and so you will hear a bunch of that today, and we will actually occasionally show you some steps, so if you are so inspired, you, you see that there's a lot of lawn, there's sidewalk, there's even a side street, you know, you can try things out. So... Um, our first set, here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
say that that was for Circassian Circle. And for some of you, that's a very familiar title, yeah. the Circassian Circle, uh, which is done in, in a circle, as you might imagine, with these big people going in and out a lot. There's forwards and backs. So it's that. Yeah. <laughs> we, we um, you know, in about February, do you remember how you felt in February? Think back to that time. So in February when we were doing, we were on our like bazillionth Zoom gig and we were, <laughs> we were desperate to find ways to entertain ourselves. So we did, we played for C Circassian Circles and we had people use... Um, Puppets. Yes. Yep. Or oven mitts or whatever. Random household objects. One, a different thing on each hand. So you can go... Because then all of those would be coming at the screen at us at the same time. That was fun, but let me tell you, this is so much better. <laughs> yeah. There is a moment in that dance where you swing your partner, and so we had people wash their hands. Yeah, thanks for being here in person with us. It's, it's really a pleasure. And we're so grateful for Nils sharing his lawn, and August, too, um, sharing his lawn. And... You know, hammock seating, like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we don't get that at most concerts. The next tune is a, a type of Breton dance. So so from Brittany, the northwest corner of France. And a lot of the dances there are in circles or lines or spirals. And this one um, has footsteps that go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And that's all there is to it. So if you feel like getting up um, with your friends and making a little line and, and doing that. It's very simple. And then there are these arm motions where you, you can even do this right from your chair. You go up and around, around and down. Up and around, around and down. You just draw a circle around your ears and then rewind it. And it goes left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And this is called an andro, so A N. D-R-O, very common type of Breton dance.
great dancers. Okay. Woo! Thanks for dancing. That's so much fun. We're going to do a mazurka, which is kind of like a waltz. This is another kind of French dance. Um, mazurka has patterns of three, just like a waltz, except there's a missing footstep. So it goes one, two, pause, one, two, three, one. Two, pause, one, two, three. And um, so it's a it's a really it's a really lovely dance to dance and a lot of the tunes have that kind of moment of pause in them which I really love. Um, so this is a mazurka that I wrote and you can actually if you want to try out doing a mazurka you can, but you can also just waltz to this. Um, and so this is a tune that I wrote for Becky, and it's called Haven. So I wrote this for my safe place person, Haven as a safe place. <coughs> Seven Sun. 
and um, this is a kind of dance that's usually done in a circle. And again, there are arm motions. So the, the feet just do a grapevine. So they go left, right, left, right, left, cross, front, and left, cross, back, left, cross, front, and left, cross, back. And then people are usually holding on pinkies, and you're going straight arms out, out, up, down, out. Yeah, it's good to try this. It's like really, really fun. It has that like, um, it has such a, such a feel of like, just like right in the groove. That's the part. So, out, out, up and down, out, out, up and down, left cross front. Left cross back. Was I wrong about that? Is it front first that crosses? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you got it. Left cross front. Left cross back. Left cross front. Left cross back. And out. Out. Up. Down. Out. Up. Yeah. Okay. Up. Tether. Down. Tether. <laughs> then turn around and come right around in front of us. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, and then you can just wrap around and just. Bring the line back you can up. come right across here, right in front of us. We'll love it. So will everyone else. <laughs> Good luck. You got this. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, nice work. You made it all the way around like twice. <laughs> Okay, so we have we actually have a song for you to sing with us. <clears throat> We've actually played at a fair number of farms this summer, and it is always a treat for us to uh, to sing a song about farming to our farmers, the car the people who are keeping us fed. Um, so this this song. Um, uh, I actually sat down with one of my farmer friends this summer to to parse out the first verse because it wasn't making sense to me. <laughs> we were in the car coming up with many theories, for, and none of them made sense. So no, <laughs> yeah. So uh, so the 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 lines go: though it's way pa past harvest time, souls still toil and wagons rattle, meaning. It's it's pat, it should be we should be done with the harvest, but we're still working on it, and uh, so people are still working away. Uh, uh, corn still stands in rank and line and defies us all. I was like, what are you talking about? Well, corn is an English uh, general term for grain, and so that that grain that they they always would pull the grain together in those big stacks. You know, you've seen that. Is like an old-fashioned thing, and so that's what it was all together in those in those lines, waiting to be brought in for harvesting. So that's still standing in rank and line, defying us all. We have seen it in our past. This line really got to me. Blood will out and join the battle. I was very like, confused, what? but what it means is our relatives will come out and help us. That's what's always happened in the past, and it's going to happen again. Uh, though we all work in different ways, we're bringing in the sheaves. Okay, so the chorus now. Bring it, the word is sheaves, S-H-E-A-V-E-S. -E okay, not cheese, as or, or sheep, <laughs> or sheep, or something else. Bringing in the sheaves, we're bringing in the sheaves. Try that. Bringing in the sheaves, we're bringing in the sheaves. And then there's a bit of a puzzle. There's a line from the verse that you get to sing. Uh, this one, you get, uh, you, you get a little bonus here. It's though we work in different ways, we're bringing in the sheaves. Though we work in different ways, we're bringing in the sheaves. So um, Rachel's going to help you remember what that line is because she's going to sing it with me every verse. So that'll give you a little hint. Oh, this I better remember this line. If you want, otherwise you can go blah, 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 da, da. We're bringing in the sheaves. It all works. We accept all kinds of singing. <laughs> Whatever form. <laughs> Though it's way past harvest time, soul still toil and wagons rattle, corn still stands in rank and line and defies us all. We have seen it in our past, blood will out and join the battle. Though we work in different ways, we're bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, we're bringing in the sheaves. Though we work in different ways, we're bringing in the sheaves. Though we started from the land, some of us do go abroad. The hand upon the gliding plow is not for everyone. Changing seasons help us see that those who hear a different drummer, though not in one harmony, are bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, we're bringing in the sheaves. Though not in one harmony, we're bringing in the sheaves. <laughs>
ferment in the soil is wakened by the kiss of summer. So the fruits of yesteryear become the year's new corn. Every stem has at its core part of those who went before. In turn, they will be kept in store by bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, we're bringing in the sheaves. In turn, they will be kept in store by bringing in the sheaves. In conclusion, bear in mind what example has begun. What we do today in kind has power for everyone. True strong names will pass along to our daughters and our sons, so they may for years to come be bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, we're bringing in the sheaves. So they may for years to come be bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, we're bringing in the sheaves. So they may for years to come be bringing in the sheaves. Yes! Thanks for singing with us. <laughs>
that is a waltz of Rachel's called Café de Karen, and we didn't tell you it was a waltz beforehand because it's a little on the fast side and it's pretty uneven ground. <laughs> this is a dangerous tempo to dance waltzes in the grass. <laughs> it's a, uh, I was going for like French musette style in that waltz. Um, and next we're going to do a, a tune that I wrote that ended up being a gavotte de la veine, which is a type of, another type of French dance. Oh yeah. And it's just like the most beautiful, trancy, mesmerizing kind of dance, usually done in little chains of like three or four or five people. Um, and so it goes left, right, left, and then there's a swing back with the right foot. <laughs> and then left, right, pause. Okay, so let's do that in rhythm. That yeah, was confusing. That was confusing. So we got very creative in our rehearsal options. And so we were rehearsing um, in the graveyard because it was shady. And we were rehearsing inside the covered bridge on rainy days because that's a way to be inside and outside at the same time. And then we rehearsed a whole bunch at um, our, one of our favorite places, which is Reebok Farm. They have a beautiful porch. And the porch overlooks the cows. And so we got to know the cows really well, and they would actually come up toward us and, like, kind of watch us. I mean, it felt like we were communicating with them, with them whether or not that was actually what's happening. But what we do know for sure is they actually, the Reebok cows are very special because they know how to dance the Gavat de la Yeah, Yeah, so they look kind of like this. It was very convincing. We really felt like they were they were doing that dance with us. So we'll play a tune of mine called We're Not Broken. We want to send this out to our favorite Gavat de la Ven dancing cows. So you can choose how you dance this, right? <laughs> you could be a cow out there. It doesn't matter how you dance this. Interpretive dance is allowed. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice.
being game for that. All right, the next dance is either a bourree or a bop. All right, so you can all do it. All bopping around is... <laughs> yeah, bopping is allowed. And accepted. <laughs> Should I show the bourree? Oh, yeah. It's a two-person dance. So, so we do often do this for a bourree, which is a type of dance from central France where you're facing your partner, and you go in and out towards your partner, left, right, left, right. Or left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three. Or left, left two, right, left, right. right. Or three, three right, right, two, three, three, left, two, three, right, two, three. That's the A part of the music. And the B part, you cross, um, you cross trade places with your you partner. face the partner. And, and then, then you turn over your right shoulder, swing your left foot around. So you go left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three. Left two three, you face your partner, and then left two three, right two three, left two three, face, and then cross, trade places, left two three. Yeah. <laughs> as we said, as we said, any kind of bopping around is appropriate and welcome. We this tune used to be called. Uh, do you want to say it today? <laughs> All right, I've made Rachel say this several like times. She wrote this tune. <laughs> She wrote this tune after, well, it, it, the, the name says it all. It says, Eloise rehearsal induced euphoria. Wish I could bottle this stuff. That's so, the full name of this tune. I wrote the tune and I announced the name to Becky and she was like, no. <laughs> Way too long. So we call it Bottle This Stuff and it happens to be the title of our forthcoming CD whenever we should get that out. Soon. <laughs> We do on our websites, both of us. Yeah. Well, yeah, you sh you have. Yeah, you can put we, a piece of paper to, out, even. If that's a good idea, we can put a piece of paper out. Yeah. We, uh, oh, oh, Nils is so on it. <laughs> we, we have a piece of paper coming where you can sign up if you'd like to be on our mailing list. We will be putting out um, announcements about when the CD is coming out in physical form, it's all recorded and we're just doing the final stuff. And we do also post updates pretty frequently on our Eloise and Company Facebook page. Um, and this tune, so bottle this stuff. What it means to us now is, particularly during the pandemic, maybe you've found this, you have like a really joyful moment, like when you're, you know, singing with people or playing music with friends or out for a walk or something and you just like, don't you just treasure those moments even more than before? You just have to like hold on to them. So you bottle this stuff, you hold on to them. And we find ourselves doing that an awful lot when we're in situations like this on the lawn with friends in the sunshine. <laughs> so, so we bottle it.
All right, so we'll finish up this first half with a, um, a, a set of contradance tunes. Woo! It's been such a long time since so many of us have contradanced, but here you can, uh, you can pretend, you can move about the lawn, you can imagine in your mind uh, two tunes called The Torrid Romance and a tune by Keith Murphy called Dress Back. One, two, three, four. <laughs>